Hey everyone, it's Richard Metal Fan here, bringing you guys another 2024 album review. And today we're going to be talking about the new album from the band Borknagar entitled Fall, which is out now through Century Media Records. For those of you who aren't familiar with Borknagar, they're a metal band based out of Norway, been around since 1995. And the way that describe them is hard because when they first started out, they were primarily kind of a black metal band. Um, but over time, they've added like different elements to their sound, a lot of folky elements and a lot of progressive elements. And especially with their latest out, last couple albums like Winter Thrice and True North, it, and I remember even a buddy of mine even described them as basically the Norwegian Mastodon. But that, does that make make Mastodon the American Borknagar? Hmm. But here we are with the band's 12th album. Um, and this follows up their previous album, which came out in 2019, True North, which I thought was one of my favorite albums from that year. Um, and they definitely evolved since then. I wouldn't consider like they changed it up or try to change their style, but they more kind of evolved their sound. And with this album, I feel like it's sort of like ne the next evolution in the Borknagar sound. I feel like they definitely stepped it up in the musicianship and the songwriting and everything. The production on here is pretty solid. Like everything is where it needs to be. It has a perfect balance and a perfect equilibrium to it. Um, let's just talk about like the vocals here are really great. Just like the clean vocals from uh, ICS Vortex and Lars Nedlin. Both of them come up with some really great singing and they work really well together. And I've been a fan of Vortex since I first heard him with Dimu Borgir and even like his other bands like Arcturus and even his one solo album Stormseeker I thought was pretty good. I think he's one of the best vocalists and he has a lot of powerful vibe to it. And then Lars's vocals as well, like he puts a lot of great singing to it. And just even the harsh vocals are really amazing. Even like I know, know Vortex does some of them as well. Um, I just think it just really goes well. The guitar work on this album is pretty tight from Oystein Brun and Joostein Thompson. Both of them come up with some really great riffs and then the leads and the soloing here is great. The bass playing on here is pretty audible. I think Vortex definitely knows where to have the bass and it just sounds really sonically good. The keyboards on here, and I've mentioned this before in other reviews where I talk about like keyboards. I feel like the keyboards definitely add sort of like another depth, another kind of like layer to the albums. And then the drumming from uh, Ronell, I think is a really great drummer, pretty much keeps the beat on here. So without further ado, let's dive into this album track by track. Now the album starts with the song Summits, which is a very powerful song. And when you first heard it, it you kind of would think it's very, very complex and rather atmospheric. But then the site, after like the sort of like the kind of a science -y kind of vibe, vibe to it, especially with the keyboards and then the mid-tempo drumming, uh, the band just pretty much goes straight in, pedal to the metal with sort of like some really sick blast beats. And I love the blast, the double bass drumming. And, and then the guitar layers really carry the epicness that Borknagar has in their music. And then the singing between Vortex and Lars from like the harsh and clean adds like a really great contrast to the aggression and melody in here and then in the middle of the song the tempo sort of slows down and gives the keyboard sort of like a room to breathe while the almost clean guitars sort of like puts like the tip of the iceberg i guess so to speak with the atmospheric break and i love like the lyrics on here great with the line i carry my history bold and serene pretty much really showcases it loud and proud as the song fades away and i think this is a really great way to start off fall perfectly um, moving on to Nordic Anthem. Now this song starts off with a sort of like a folky kind of intro with some really great percussion, which sort of like changes up the album a little bit without dismissing the atm atmosphere at the vocalisms. And then the clean vocals on here really shine well again with lyrics such as, this is our home, our life is free from east coast to mountain, we will never bend our knee. It's a really powerful song. And I feel like, well, I can interpret it. I feel like it talks about like, everyone who stands against any oppression in here. And I think it's a really great song with a really powerful message behind it. Next song on here is called Afar. Now this song, when you first hear this, you find yourself head banging until the, the clean song bridge right in there. And then the chorus adds like a sing along to it. And there's a really great riff at the three minute mark with the keyboards to sort of back it up. 
And then, as I mentioned, like the keyboards, I would, would recommend listening to it with headphones at least a handful of times by the often complicated texture. And when I say complicated, I don't mean it like headache inducing complexity, but one that is sort of the sing along melodies and head banging out, outbursts, which is with this album. Um, next song on the album is called Moon. Now, this song has some really sick riffs, which almost sound very black metal-y, but if you listen closely, you notice sort of like the keyboards and then the bass is sort of present on here. And then Lars is singing, especially at the four minute mark, uh, gives me goosebumps. And it's difficult to li to not listen to that. But once you do, do I feel like you all listen, feel like you have that, listen to that song's true potential or something. It's hard to describe it. Um. Next up is uh, Stars Ablaze. Now the clean guitars and the strings on here sort of signifies like epic right here. It has a song that just hits you with a hammer. It's some really great riffs. And this pretty much showcases Borknagar's progressive side. And it's very beautiful during like the song's second part. And I once again give the credit to the bass sounding just really powerful and really just dominating all around. Um... Next up is Unraveling. Now, this song kind of reminds me a little bit of something from the previous album, Up North. And Lars's keyboards, in, especially in the intro, are really good before it settles into the depths of, like, I don't know, the vocals between Lars and Vortex is while Oystein and Joystein deliver some really powerful, like, riffing all around. Next song on the album is called The Wild Lingers. Now, this song, when I first heard it, it was kind of odd, but I say this in a good way. Hey, and it kind of sounds a little bit of power metal -y, but with a little bit of like Pink Floyd and the guitars with tour returning into like that Norse chorus with the choirs and especially the string arrangement, which fits really well on here. And I think it's a pretty good song, pretty much the more kind of experimental song that I've heard from Bortnagar yet. And then we close things out with North Ward. Now, this is the longest song on here. It's almost 10 minutes. It's, I, um, this is pretty much the longest song that Bortnikar has ever done to their date. I consider it kind of like their rhyme with the Ancient Mariner. And I feel like Bortnikar sort of brings all of its best components and it gives Fall sort of like the most powerful songs that we can enjoy. And it has the magnetism of the five musicians and Splendor. And Vortex's voice is complimented again, especially with Lars's as well. And then Oisty in and it seems riffing is great then then i then joy seems riffs and leads that has come up with great and i pretty much a very glorious song very progressive very black metal -y at times a really great way to end this album now overall fall by borknagar another great addition to the discography De so far definitely a you know, great listen from start to end when i first heard this this and it's gonna probably get better even more and I listen to it more and more. So overall, I'm gonna give Fall by Borknagar a solid 10 out of 10. So far, it's looking to be one of my favorite albums for 2024. So yeah, that's my review of the new Borknagar album, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about it and I'll see you all in the next video. And as always, keep it metal.